Hi, uh, my name is Dan Jenkins, and uh, this is week one. Uh, from the readings this week, I would say uh, one of the most important principles that I learned is how we are our own worst enemy, and uh, and how we're our own worst enemy. That's through being resistant to change. It's it's from denying the the problems that we have that are right in front of our face. Uh, and, um, and ignoring those problems if they're brought up to us. Um, it's, it's our resistance to see what we need and the justification of the things that are comfortable and the things that we're already doing, um, that prevents us from, from, from changing, prevents us from being able to progress and, and, even start the process of deep change. Uh, the other thing that stood out to me a lot was the story of uh, Monty Roberts and, and getting to know his those horses that he was working with, um, getting to know each horse individually, um, and how to... He was learning how to learn in his field. And so stemming off of those two things that really stood out to me, I guess what I'd like to change is to be able to uh, be able to recognize, recognize when I'm resisting. Um, and when I do that, be able to embrace uh, failure or being able to embrace something that I'm doing incorrectly. The other thing I like to do is uh, get to know others' motivations and get to know what drives them. Um, not just their normal interactions with them. Uh, the question I have is from the, the Chumps article, and it's uh, how can we create situations or uh, stimulate movement in others through those four uh, quadrants? Is it better done in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, scenario? Is it better done in a team or groups? Um, Anyway, looking forward to the uh, discussion. Thanks.